but I have a plug-in I want to go over real quick, and it's called Auto Align by Sound Radix. And what it is, it's an automatic uh, microphone alignment and phasing correction plug-in. And a lot of people use it when they're trying to mix live drums uh, that were recorded, you know, like a trap set or whatnot, to correct phasing issues or whatnot. But you can use it on any other drum sound. It doesn't have to be live drums or basically use it on anything. But anyway, what I'm trying to do is is, is test this plug-in to see if it actually creates a side chain uh, environment inside the MPC software because right now and the version I'm on which just came out yesterday when I did this video is uh, version 2.2 in the MPC software where they added a lot of MIDI functions like MIDI learn uh, they also added humanizing yeah which is dope so a lot of dope ads and they corrected a lot of stuff but one thing that a lot of people are waiting on me personally there's two plug-in delay compensation and side chaining abilities which you know I know a lot of you machine guys are looking at this video like dude we had this forever so apparently Akai is still working on it so we have to be patient in the meantime I found this plug-in and I tried it in 1.9 and it seemed like it was working but I wasn't quite sure kind of forgot about it till a friend of mine T-Bone Beats mentioned it to me yesterday and asked me how did it come you know so I pulled it back up and I was like man I actually forgot about that plug-in so I did another trial run in 2.2 to see exactly what was going on and, and to see whether or not I create side chain so what I did I recorded just a little basic drum you know and snare and 808 pattern man just to try to give it a, a test run and let me let you hear it real quick Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I actually had the plug-in on at first, and you may hear a little bit of difference. Let me pull up the plug-in real quick and just kind of go over it. And let's see here. Actually, I want to go back to my drum pattern, so, and pull up the mixer. And let's see, I got it right here. All right, and this is what it looks like. Let's turn it on. All right, right here. As you can see on your left hand side is your input signal. So that would be my kick. This little triangle right here on each either side that's attached to this uh, noise floor. If you're recording live drums and you've got some type of noise, you can adjust this to taste basically is what it is. Alright, up here you have a send and receive section, right? And so what you want to do on this plug-in, you want to kick the center signal to your 808 or your bass or whatever sound you're trying to side chain or duck. You would place a one. You can actually go all the way up to nine. So we're going to go back to one. And all right, that's where you want to put your send channel right here is uh, on channel one for your kick drum. All right, also you have a phasing detection section and you can put it on delay and polarity or delay. And what that does, you can put it on your, your target source, hit this button, man, and what it'll do, it'll sit there and do a smart detection, I guess. It'll adjust that sample according to, you know, whether or not it's in or out of phase, and it'll show you the amount right here. All right, I guess I explained that right. But anyway, you kind of get the point. What we want to do now is go to, I have, actually have my 808s on another track, and that's what's dope about this. All right, let's pull it up here and turn on auto line here. All right, now this one right here is auto align I have on another track, which is dope. Like I said, you could actually put this on a, in your drum program and put it on different tracks, or you could just put it on a totally different track, period, and they'll still communicate with each other. That's the dopeness of this plug-in. So right here on your 808 sound, you will put receive one. All right? So now, when I hit the, uh, let me go back to the drum, my drum group. Thank you. Let's see. So now when I hit the kick drum, you'll see the kick drum register right here, but also on the side chain side of 808, it'll receive this, the uh, signal as well. Now, just to let you know that that is the 808 sound, let me go back to the 808, or the 808 uh, plug-in, uh, let's see. We'll go back to the 808 section and let me hit that, let me hit a pad and just show you that you're getting a signal from the 808 as well. All right. So, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and play this beat. And now once I play the beat, you'll actually see that you're still getting a signal right here on your 808, I mean your kick drum. You're still getting an input signal from the 808, but also 
every time the kick drum hits, you're getting a signal from the kick drum here on your 808. See, I'm going to go ahead and hit this detect polarity button and let it do its thing. See, right now it's thinking. Alright, so we'll give it a second to finish doing the detection. See, it's actually a slightly out of phase, I guess you would say, but it's uh it gives you the amount, which is 111 sample. So quite naturally it corrects it. But if I turn these off, actually, let me play it again. When I play them, and then I'm going to turn them off while I'm playing them, you can tell there's a difference in the sound. See, I don't know if it's actually ducking the 808 or the fact that it's such a good polarity or phasing correction plug-in. And it may be doing that or both, either or, you know. But that's why I'm saying I need somebody else to test this and see if I'm on to something or whether or not it's just, you know, all smoke and mirrors, you know. So let me try it out right quick. All right, this is with the plug-in. Now I'm going to turn them off. Back on. So I don't know if you can hear it on this end, but I can hear a slight difference, man. Um, it sounds a little bit tighter and cleaner as if, you know, it's either side chaining the 808 or, you know, the phasing issues have been corrected, which I kind of think it may be the phasing, but who knows? The fact that you can send a signal from this plug-in to another version of this plugin on a separate tracking NPC software is pretty dope. So, you know, let me know what you think, man, and um, drop me a comment below. And if anybody else tests this out, you know, post your, your, your test results and, you know, let's figure out whether this thing is actually side chaining or it's just strictly correcting phasing issues. All right. Peace.